What's up guys? 3,000 subscribers, woo! And guess what? We're gonna do a giveaway today. If you watched my last video, you know, the Black Panther one where I performed the song Pray For Me by The Weeknd, you would have seen that I used a plugin called M Rhythmizer. It's by Melda Productions. And you know what? I first found out about M Rhythmizer when I was actually looking for a gross beat. I found out that a lot of hip hop music and tons of other types of music actually was using this plugin called Gross Beat. Most people were using it for its halftime capabilities where you're slowing a beat down or slowing down a sample by 50%. Others are using it to reverse samples and even for this awesome scratching thing that it does. You can actually program how you want your scratching to sound from your original sample. It was so awesome, but Gross Beat is currently only for Windows. There's no Mac version. I mean, they've, they've got one in the works, but it's not out there yet. So I was looking for something that was Mac compatible, compatible with lots of different DAWs, and I found M Rhythmizer. And to my surprise, it did all the stuff that Gross Beat did, plus a lot more. There are some really awesome features in this. Now I'm giving away the M Rhythmizer plugin to one lucky winner. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you're subscribed to my channel, Number two, go watch the Black Panther video. And number three, leave a comment on the Black Panther video. When you watch that video, you'll see how I use Ember the Miser in that song as well. All right, I'm gonna run this giveaway for one week, which means it's gonna start today and it's gonna end on March 3. Now to stay up to date on my giveaways and my videos, make sure you follow me on Instagram at SunjayC. And also, hit that little bell icon near the subscribe button wherever it, wherever it is, because that'll notify you whenever I upload a new video. There are more giveaways coming. You're not gonna wanna miss those. Big, big, like huge, massive, crazy giveaways. M Rhythmizer is super easy to use, and there are some really cool functions that I discovered, so I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of what M Rhythmizer can do right now. Let's get into it. So I've loaded up a very simple song. There's just a few samples and some drums in here. Let's hear what it sounds like without M Rhythmizer in it. So there's a few samples in here. We've got that sample. We've got the strings. We've got the bass. We've got the drums and we've got this electric piano. All right, so let's start out by just adding this M Rhythmizer into this sample right here. All right, I've opened the plugin and I'm gonna load the presets, the general presets. So it's loaded up right here. Now let's try something. Let's try just the basic 50% speed. So that's half time. What about 200% speed? What about reverse? Pretty cool, right? Now that's just the basics of what you can do. There's so much more that you can do. So this is the time screen. This has some basic stuff. It even has the basic scratching if we turn that on. Awesome, right? Now under volume, you have different gates. Now these are different gate patterns. So you can do a 16th, gate 16, gate eight. So this is an eighth note, a 16th note, 30 second note and then all sorts of other patterns that you could actually modify yourself. So let's try some of these out. Let's try the eight, the gate eight. Now let's take that scratching off because you can combine these. So I have scratching on and I have the gate eight on. Let's take scratching off and see what it sounds like. So this is just gate eight. And let's try gate 16. We can even try different patterns. Trance gate eight. So you see how the pattern has changed here. 
Cool, right? Now you can also apply a filter type of M rhythmizer rhythm to this. Let's try two teeth. We'll turn the filter on. Let's turn up the high pass, see what this sounds like. I always forget to turn the other stuff off so you can hear it properly. Here's that filter. It's kind of subtle. This isn't just by itself. More complex stuff. Sawtooth. Very cool, right? There's the drum sample. Right now it's dry. And let's hear what that sounds like without anything. So there's drums. Load up the presets. So what if we did repeat? percent speed. Repeater. Backspin. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's unsolo it. You could do this with different sounds and get really creative with the sounds that you have. Try it on the live strings. Oh, this is so much fun. What I really love about this is you could start your song with a sample that you like, or maybe you're like, it sounds okay, but it needs a little something. And this just really adds something cool to it. You can also have a part of a song where the sample is just dry or the, or the tune is just dry. And then another part of it where you actually have a variation with the M rhythmizer. Now you can use, I'm using this on audio samples, but you can use this even on MIDI. Now another really cool thing you can do with M Rhythmizer is you can trigger any of these changes with MIDI. So I'll show you how you can do that right now. So we have this currently on our live strings and it's not doing anything right now, but I can use MIDI notes starting with the notes C1 to trigger any one of these. So let's do that real quick. I'm gonna create a new MIDI track here. We're gonna output this MIDI to live strings and live strings in particular, the M Rhythmizer, and it's already selected here since that's the only plugin we have included in there. When playing this MIDI track and live strings, it's gonna actually activate the, the selected preset in M Rhythmizer. Let's see. There you go. So it's actually doing that. We can even change the note here and it'll do something different. Let's try something different here. Now, if you want to change that, you can actually add another note in between. Let's do, let's change it to that. Now, how awesome is that? So you can actually map all your changes so you don't have to change it on the fly. Look at that, isn't that so much fun? Here's where it gets really interesting. If you wanna do scratching on this, you can actually load up the scratching and glitching presets. So now you've got all these different presets that you can start with or you can just use one of these. So let's try the scratch one. So let's say you wanted to use this one, but you want to modify it a little bit. So you want um, a little speed up right here. You can do that. If you want to minimize how much it's scratching, let's do that. If you want to make that really evident, let's pull that down. Let's add another one here. <laughs> 
Now, if you applied this to the master track, you can actually get some very cool vinyl sort of sounds to this. So, let's do a backspin. So it's a full backspin of the entire thing if you wanted to do that. You can do a vinyl stop. You can adjust your stop, you can adjust the restart. So you really have control of, over everything that you want to do with this. It's really, really awesome. So versatile. You can get so creative with this thing and it's fully modifiable. They've got other stuff in here like meters and they've got uh, multi-parameter -para settings and I haven't even explored everything yet. There's just so much to look at in here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick tour of M Rhythmizer. It's such a creative tool. I love it. You gotta have it. If you don't win this competition, don't worry. I'm gonna put a link in the description down so you can actually go buy it. But enter the competition, you'll get a chance to win it for free. Don't forget to win it. You've gotta go watch my Black Panther video, leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed, and hit that bell icon as well so you don't miss out on the next giveaways. They're big. If you like this video, hit that like button, and don't forget, make the music that you love. I will see you later.